This demonstration will showcase the Carnation Communications real-time quality measurement capabilities. We have here a diagram of the setup, uh, which consists of all the components for this demonstration. But instead of boring you with this picture, let's just look at the actual hardwares. So how are all these interconnected? Let me walk through that. We have laptop, which will be playing out a video content uh, through a player. That output stream then is fed through the USB to HDMI converter. The output, which is coming out of the thread cable, is an HDMI stream, then fed into the Blackmagic unit, which converts it into an HDSDI stream. Now, the HDSDI stream can be 270 megahertz, 1.5G, 3G, or 6G, depending on the format that was actually played out by the laptop. Walking over and taking a look at the inputs of the 3030. That reference input, which is played out by the laptop, is then fed into the input source of the unit. The unit will then overlay a watermark as a gray bar at the bottom of the screen and then fed that out through the output loop through. That is this blue cable. Now this cable then will then carry the reference watermarked uh, uh, stream into the QVDM encoder. The encoder will encode the stream following the H.265 standard and output as Ethernet packets. That Ethernet packet is fed through this blue cable and returned back into the decoder. The decoder will decode the stream and reconstruct the uh, HDSDI stream and fed out through this bottom cable. This cable then is fed into the input analysis port of the 3030 unit. The unit will then carry out a comparison between the two inputs and extract the delay and the quality differences. The result is then displayed through the HDMI monitoring port. Now that video background will be the content coming out, coming out of the, um, the input analysis. Okay, the result is then fed and displayed on our portable HDMI monitor. What we have here showcases the 3030 in action. On the right side, we see that uh, the laptop is playing out a real-time video sequence. And on the left, the 3030 computes the PSNR in real time and, and presents it on a, uh, a plot through the web browser. Now the QVDM decoder uh, in real time shows a bit rate at about 14 megabits and we can see that the PSR generally runs between 25 to 10 for live action sequences. The PSNR is a function of the complexity. As we see a black sequence here, the PSNR goes all the way up to 100, which is no errors at all. But then following with this uh, Star Wars logo, uh, event, we see that the PCNR, PSNR drops down between 30 to 50 dB. This concludes our quick little demo. For those who are interested in setting up the PC to play out the reference content, we have this quick little demo which guides the user through the peculiarities of the Windows 10 environment. Okay, well, thank you for your interest on this topic.